Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and welcome to Blockbuster Models series. In this video, I'll show you how to import character models whose legs and arms can move. Sorry for cursed mess in the background. Before we start, this is not a Blender tutorial. If you don't know how to use Blender, either follow along, or learn Blender by watching tutorials online and practicing. Also, I'll be using an older version of Blender, Blender 2.79. You can use the new 2.8, but it's different. The download link for 2.79 is in the description. Also, I'll be using Blockbuster 1.6.4 in this video. Anyways, let's get started. Here, I found a model of a random guy on Sketchfab. You can download the model in the description. Anyways, we'll try to make him walk. Let him grab items, wear armor, etc. Now, after you download it and unzip the model from Sketchfab, let's import it into Blender. This particular model was in FBX format, so we'll need to import it using FBX Importer. Alright, that model already looks messy. The problem with using other people's models online, is that they're always either organized differently, or require some fixing. That's why learning the animation software is very important. Anyways, let's start cleaning this up. For some reason, this model has two layers of the body, and one of them has normals flipped. The one that is more bluish needs to be removed. The ears are also bluish, even though the rest of the model is cool. We need to select ears individually, and flip the normals. Next, we need to join everything into a single object. We need a single mesh which will simplify further work. You should do it anyways, even if you import a static model. Now, let's try to fix up the materials and get the texture working. Since this model has only one texture, this is very easy. Remove all materials, create a new one and assign a texture. And finally, orient the model so its face looked in the same direction as the green arrow. First thing I want to do for this model is to fix its legs and arms being too far away from the body. This particular model would look silly with legs and arms way too far away like this. This needs to be done manually by moving the base of the feet closer to the center, and rotating all limbs manually closer the body. Next step is to disconnect body from other limbs. This is done by selecting edge loops that connect the limbs, detaching it from the body using edge split, and covering the holes by creating a face and then poking it. This procedure must be done for every limb. Now, we need to separate every limb to its own object. Oh, it looks like I forgot to disconnect the head as well, so we'll do it now. Once every limb is separated, we need to rename the objects. Make sure to rename both objects and mesh data names, because otherwise Blender will mess up the naming process. The right and left here doesn't mean a lot, however, I prefer my rights and lefts be assigned looking from the back of the model. And finally downscale the whole model to appropriate size. The grid shows 1 to 1 block scale, so if I want my model to be as tall as Steve, its Z dimension should be around 1.8. Since the character isn't a one piece anymore, it doesn't say in the dimension tab the size of the whole thing. And we're done. We fixed the model, yay. Now we can import it into Minecraft. Go to config slash blockbuster slash models folder, and create a new folder for the model. Export the model as obj, make sure that right materials is disabled and triangulate faces is enabled. We don't need right materials since this model has only one material. Triangulate faces is not always necessary, however for some models, this happens if the triangulation isn't enabled. Then we also need to save the texture to the skins folder.
If we'll go into Minecraft, place a model block and pick the model, we'll see our random guy standing there, yay. Now begins the fun part, and by fun I mean boring. You need to go to the model editor, and configure anchor points for every limb, and place it back. To avoid wasting your time, first finish watching this section of the video, because next section shows a simpler way, however it works only with older versions of Blender. So what you do is to look up the coordinates of a point around which a limb should rotate in Blender, and then paste those values into OBJ origin fields. The intent here is to make the white dot on the floor to be the origin point in Blockbuster's model editor. If the limb goes the other way around when inputting values, then just invert the value, that is place or remove minus in front. Also, Blender uses Z-axis as vertical axis instead of Y, so make sure to input Z values from Blender into second box in OBJ origin, and Y values from Blender into third box in OBJ origin. Now it's time to place the limb back. All you need to do is to take the values from OBJ origin, multiply it by 16 and then place it into pose editor's respective coordinate fields. And repeat that for every limb. Once you're done, save the model and enjoy the result. There is also another way of doing it. I made an add-on for Blender 2.79 to export the origin points automatically. Here is how you install it. Download the add-on from the description. Go to user preferences, add-ons, and install from file. And if there was no errors, then that should be it. All you need to do is first to prepare origin points in Blender, and export the JSON file. Once you're done, when you have all the orange points on the correct places, then you can export the JSON file. Go to File, Export, Blockbuster JSON and then export it, to the same folder as the OBJ file, but make sure it's called exactly model.json. Once you exported it, make sure to reload the model in the model editor by clicking on its name again in the model list, and then anchor points should be correctly configured. If it's exported the origin points inaccurately, make sure they're correct in Blender, or adjust the values manually, and save the model. And finally we can configure the actual properties of the limbs. Model editor has a lot of properties here, but we're going to focus on making him act like Steve. First, we might want to enable smooth checkbox on every limb. This will make some models look better. One thing that has to be mentioned before we go forward, Minecraft's model system is kind of messed up, so, due to my code being based on it, it flips the models on the x-axis, so whatever was left in Blender, becomes right, and right becomes left. Then we'll start working on arms and legs animations, enable idle checkbox to enable living animations for both arms, this will make the arms sway a bit. For the left arm, we need to also enable invert checkbox, so the left arm wouldn't sway in the same direction as the right arm. For the right arm, you might always want to enable swiping option, which makes the limb punch when you left click. Then we want to configure limb swinging, however, make sure that the legs swinging is inverted, that is you don't want the left arm and left leg swing in the same direction, because it will look very unnatural, but it's up to you. Let's see how it works so far. Looks great. Now let's make the head turn around, and grant the ability for the model to hold items. Let's preview it. Yeah, head and items work, however items are not in the correct spot, let's fix this. What you need to do to fix this, is to resize this blue highlight box so it would cover most of the arm. This can be done by adjusting the limb size and limb anchor fields. 
quick note, I was being a dumbo, and it was already a take 3 of the sequence so I was lazy to redo the whole thing again, however, I could have enabled item preview in the editor but I forgot about it, just click on the third icon, and it will allow to preview where item will be rendered, without having to save again so many times. Anyways, let's preview it, it looks pretty good. This section of the video isn't necessary, however, in some cases, you might want your model to work with vanilla armor. First thing we need to do is to assign armor slots to every limb. We don't have extra limbs to cover all the possible armor slots, so we'll keep it basic. If we're going to preview the model, it looks quite wrong. For exception of shoulders, it looks stretched, but correct. Let's go back to the model editor, and resize the highlight box again to fit the relevant body part. You can do this by editing limb size and limb anchor fields. Once you wrap the box around the limb, it should make the armor appear correctly. And here we go, our model is configured correctly, it looks silly, but hey, it's just a demonstration. If you'll morph into the model, depending on the model's limb size, you might also see the hand in the first person. The final thing I want to show you is configuring sneaking pose. If we'll try sneaking now, it wouldn't work, so let's jump back to the model editor and adjust the sneaking pose. Select first sneaking pose in the poses modal, and then for every limb change its pose properties. First three fields are translation, second three fields are scale, and the last three fields are rotation. There are also two fields to edit the hitbox of the model during that pose. Adjust the transformations, and save the model. Now, if we'll go back, we'll be able to properly sneak. The model is complete. Well, that's basically it. Model loading is in general pain in the ass. I wish you all good luck with loading models. Maybe this will become a series, who knows. I need to remake the old OBJ tutorials anyways. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.